All right, uh, welcome back. Here we are in uh, the Bard playthrough. Um, so it's been, I'm gonna assume, pro probably by the time this gets out, about a week since my last video. Uh, and I mean, I don't think anyone really watches it ever anyways, or them. So, <clears throat> you know, maybe one or two people will have actually noticed, but regardless, that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not just been have not been feeling like uh recording um too much and especially i don't know i just don't really feel like recording um in the way that i usually do i'd rather like uh you know get some footage of something and then work on like a video with like voiceovers and stuff right now i don't really know why i feel like that but i don't know like i mentioned i just don't really feel like doing the let's play videos that i'm doing because one they aren't really getting uh any traction they take a lot of time for a very minimal reward. And I'd rather make a video that I'm more, uh, you know, proud of. Um, about, you know, a specific topic in a specific game or something. And, uh, you know, I just have that. Even if it doesn't get as much attention, I'll probably feel better about it. We're still back, uh, regardless, because I am going to see these two playthroughs that I'm doing right now to the end. The Core Keeper and the Bard one before switching to other things. I may just not even play Terraria that much on my own anymore either afterwards, after after I finish, I should say, because um, I just feel like playing other stuff, right? I think my computer or like my frame rate is a little bit weird. It's kind of strange because I can't really see. I think it'll record fine, but it's whatever. Because my monitor is on 144 hertz and my computer or like my recording is 60 hertz and I feel like it kind of messes stuff up sometimes, but whatever. Anyways, so we have the Star Scouter uh, today. I would like to beat the Star Scouter and the Wall of Flesh. I don't know if I'll get to that though. Uh, so let me grab some gravitation potions and we have platforms that we can make uh, an arena out of. How do we actually summon this as well? The Star Scouter, a Star Caller. Can I make this? Let's take a look. Star Caller, I need Meteorite Bars and Strange Alien Tech. Have I not found a Meteorite? But I'm pretty sure you get this Strange Alien Tech from an enemy that you find at Meteorites. I don't remember if we've gotten a Meteorite in our world, though, is the thing. I can summon one, I believe. Um, where's the guy? Right here. I'm blind. He's right here. We have a Meteorite Potion. It didn't do anything, um, so we'll try another one. Uh, it's just not working. All right, that's great. Can we, do we just not get a meteorite in this world? Because I'm pretty sure that we've not gotten one yet, correct? I'm pretty sure one never spawned, and my frames are definitely being weird. Hold on. All right, I actually just changed the monitor that I'm playing on. I don't really know how, how this is going to go, because it's super weird playing on this one over here. Oh goodness, this this is wacky. All right, well, I'm just gonna do it because this one is 60 hertz by default, and I think it'll play smoother. Um, all right, so, right, meteorite. Uh, do we need to go break more of the orbs, I guess? And I don't think one ever actually spawned uh, the meteorite, that is. So, like, it's kind of, like, wh what do, bro? Like, just, I'm pretty sure you get them by, frick off, bro, from breaking, um orbs but they usually show up after you break the first couple of orbs but i'm pretty sure we've not gotten one yet unless it's on like the opposite side of our world and like i just never went over there but like it would i don't know we we, we, we should have already gotten one it's very strange uh do i even have bombs I, well i have a pickaxe that can break the stuff in here so it doesn't really matter did we have more orbs down here Oops is like the main question i guess i just will just mine down here don't need to bomb even if we have them which do we have them we do not they do not have bombs with me because i'm bad and i always come unprepared <laughs> um so i got a what was that a dark heart and stuff i'm pretty sure if you just keep breaking these meteorites spawn right that's like that's still how it works Am I just not gonna get a meteor? Is this not how meteors spawn? Let me just look this up. Hold on. What is what, what is the rules for meteorite spawning? I gotta go into auto pause because I can't pause my game otherwise. So it, it should just spawn on its own after defeating or beat or 
the beating up, destroying, defeating, whatever, de destroying the the orbs, and it should just show up, right? Or it has a chance to spawn immediately if I kill them. Oh, these are useful too. I didn't I didn't realize that uh, she sold the boss spawners. That is nice though. I think that is a thorium thing. So yeah, basically meteorites have a chance to spawn immediately if I kill them between 12 a.m. and 4.30 a.m., I, I believe. Uh, so like, you know, during the night, after midnight and between uh, up to 4.30. Why, why am I struggling to say that? I'm a fucking idiot. Or they can spawn at a certain time after I think it's like at the midnight after you destroy them or something. Um, so it's just kind of weird that one hasn't spawned yet. And I was coincidentally, I believe, killing them during the right time period, but none spawned. So, you know, that's always great when you don't get what you need. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I'm not quite sure why the meteorite potions don't work from the... Oh, here's a meteorite. Okay. Uh, so before we mine any of this, I think we kind of have to wait for, uh, what, what, oh, this thing, I believe, right? The, the UFOs, this should drop what we need. Um, if it's not immediately, it's a chance, but it definitely should drop from those. Um, also space slimes are intriguing. I, I don't know why I hadn't seen this already. Did this just spawn in did the meteorite potions work but they just didn't say that they that they worked because they usually say it when you use a meteorite potion they will say a meteorite has crashed um but hey i guess it just decided not to work this time which is strange or this was already here and i just never saw it which i don't know how since i've definitely been over here after you know my original defeat of the eater of worlds because i had to go kill Skeletron, so I went over here. I ran this way in order to get to Skeletron's temple. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm just kind of confused about what, like, my, what happened. But it's whatever. Uh, we're just gonna keep going. But I think we're going to try to grab a couple of these. Depending on how long it takes, I may only grab one of the, um, what are they called? Strange alien tech? I'm just gonna sit here at this meteorite for a while and kill things. And then I'll bring you guys back once I'm ready to destroy it and we've gotten a piece of strange alien tech, hopefully. Yo, dog, look, I got like two pieces of meteorite so far, which is crazy good. You know, I wish that they would have like raised the drop rate of meteorite or something from the enemies. So that it didn't, you know, it wasn't quite the same as just the normal garbage meteorite biome. But it still pretty much is. The only thing that you really get from this is, um, you know, the, uh, the piece of alien tech. <laughs> like, why go to the trouble of making a meteorite enemy? Um, oh, there's a piece of strange alien tech. Cool. I guess we'll farm for one more. That didn't actually take very long. Um, so we'll go for one more just in case we don't actually kill it the first time um, But as I was saying like well, what, what's the point of making a, like a, a meteorite slime? If like it doesn't do anything for the biome like there's no new drop There it's nothing. It's just the same like 2% meteorite <laughs> Drop chance which is like the, the shittiest thing in the entire game. It's like it's the most, not, it's not the shittiest, it's like the most useless thing in the whole entire game. It's like, what, 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 huh? All right, whatever, uh, Relogic, do your thing, I guess. Oh, looks at another meteorite, that's crazy. Good God, I, I don't know, bro. Maybe there's a different drop from them, I don't know. Hey, look, it's another one. That's actually really nice. Um, that's all that I want from this for now, so I'm going to hope that is enough. I'm actually not going to mine up the rest of this meteorite, though, until, you know, um, I've beaten the boss so that I don't just remove the biome. Because if I vein mine this right now, I'm going to get all the meteorite, and it's going to remove the biome. And I'd rather not do that, since I don't have a, you know, a very c consistent way of getting the biome clearly at this point. Uh, I'm going to grab, like, 80 ore, which I think... 
think well no it's like three per bar right so I, I don't need that much ore i'll grab like 60 maybe and now we should have enough for the star collar we just need to make the meteorite bars first meteorite bars it's three per so yeah it should be just about 20 and we'll maybe make some meteorite stuff a little bit later should we need that i think we're a little bit past it at this point but i mean on well if there's a barred weapon obviously i'm gonna want to make that is there a barred weapon uh we have the armor blades we have a meteorite oboe i should have grabbed 20 more bars whatever i can do that afterwards um star collar do do do, do. got two star collars Cool stuff. All right, so now let's grab all of our potions that we need and head up to the space uh, biome. I don't really know. It's not really a biome. It's kind of a biome, but not really a biome. But like, I don't know. Fuck you, dude. I don't think we need to fight it on a floating island. Uh, we don't need to be that high up, I don't think, to actually fight it. But, you know, since we have the basis of an area where we could fight it, uh, I may as well do it. I don't think we're gonna do anything to the floating island. I don't really wanna fight it, like, on the floating island. I could fight it off to the side. Like, I could just make platforms going over there. All right, well, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this, this little area of, like, three platforms or whatever. Is that a gun? Hold on, let me, let me grab that gun first. What is this? The zapper shoots a short-ranged pulse of lightning that can pierce infinitely. Well, that's intriguing. It doesn't appear to have ammo either, which is kind of weird for a ranged weapon. But, alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine out these clouds too, because I may move on to the island to actually fight it. Because um, I'm not gonna make this arena huge. I'm not gonna make it, su make it super long or anything. Uh, I just wanna, you know, have an area to fight it in. A clean area. So, you know, we're going to remove these so we don't get, or I don't, so I don't bonk into them once when I actually move on to the island, should I need more space. Since, you know, obviously I can just run over here onto it and give myself a little bit more um, space to fight this thing, need be. I believe it's a big spaceship, kind of like the, uh, the Martian Saucer, but it's not the Martian Saucer. And I have zombies spawning up here now, obviously, because platforms i don't know why zombies don't spawn on like the dirt that's up here but you know if they got some platforms to go for then why not you know give give me some of that i don't man does this have a giant laser does i feel like this boss is a has a big laser um i'm just kind of like thinking about how to deal with that it doesn't really matter pop our buffs and i think we're just gonna gonna give this a shot uh i think our platform area it's too small. This looks so dumb. Like, like, look, look at how, look at how dumb this looks, bruh. Just on the, just coming off of the edge of a floating island. Like, whatever. Anyways, uh, let's see. I guess I'll put our tuning fork up here with the other stuff, so I can like combo it with these for a little more damage. Um, get our star collar into our main inventory slots, and summon it. Uh, okay, let's see. Where's it coming from? It's below me. Okay, that's a little strange. I don't know why it would come from below me, but that's fine. Uh, and I don't think I actually use the, the boom box. Uh, what is it doing? Oh, it definitely has a laser. That is for sure. Get, get it all nice and tuned. I think I hit it with the fork, with the fork right? Um, okay, it does not seem very difficult so far. It's not hard to dodge, at least. Uh... It's kind of hovering over me to shoot me with its laser, though, which did miss, fortunately. Did, that, did the fork even hit it there? I don't know. Okay, this isn't too bad, though. Uh, I would, I did expect it to be a little more difficult, but I think I'm just comparing it to... I think I just compare everything to, like, Calamity bosses, basically, even though I've not played Calamity bosses in a while. Oh, wow. That's interesting. They are getting shredded, though. I have some, uh, some bongos to take care of that. I am getting rather low, though. I need to be a little more careful. That surprised me. Bard just does a lot of damage, I feel like, as well. I, like, underestimate the damage that Bard does. There we go. We got it. First try. Not bad. Uh, we got a magic weapon, a healing weapon, 
summons an offensive pet probe with limited range. This is a pet? It's a pet, bro. Also, what did I have as my pet before? What did I even have? Did I not have anything? I just had my broom in my inventory and I did not have a pet equipped. What was I doing? It actually does damage though. So, I mean, you know, that's kind of overpowered as a concept. I guess we'll keep it with us. Does it have a bard weapon? I would assume it does. Thrower, melee, ranged, summon. It does not have a bard weapon, um, it appears. Does it have a two of a certain kind of weapon? Summon, ranged, melee, magic, thrower, healer. No? Okay. It is not. It just does not have a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, the, the, the bard weapon. We will fight it again, though, uh, just to, you know, use this summoner and get ourselves some stuff. So you, you could fight this way further down. Uh, you do not need to fight it up here in space. Um, but I just did it because, I don't know, dude, I felt like it, I guess basically is that's how i go about most things i do them because i feel like them i feel like doing them i feel like them <laughs> yes i definitely feel like those things <laughs> man what, what 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 is happening to me i don't know what's going on oh boy man these things really juggle you though wow um goodness gracious i didn't expect to just get juggled like that bruh i might die um, I think I'll be okay as long as I'm being mindful of the projectiles. Just... A oh, shoot. Tune it. Okay, got it. Man, I went down to 30 health, though. I was just kind of being sloppy about it, though. I wasn't even really paying attention to all the projectiles. <laughs> but, uh, what can you do? You know, uh, range weapon... Wait, it did have a bard weapon? Am I that stupid? That doesn't show up in the, the boss checklist. Why does that not show up in the boss checklist? Excuse me? Okay, well, it has a bard weapon. So that's cool. Um, I guess we'll go back now. I'm glad I fought it again, because I would never, I just would have never known. Boss checklist lied to me. Uh, that's a, uh, what a betrayal, Robobo. What is that supposed to be? Let's give this Robobo a shot. What does it do? Propels a zigzagging energy burst and I get empowerment prolongation too. It doesn't one of my other... Yeah, the boom box gives me that as well. So this... Zappy, zappy thing. Um, it has a kind of weird, like... I'm, I don't know. I don't know. It has a very weird sound that... um. It ha that it plays like in like the like the very back of that uh that doesn't make sense either yeah it has like a little like ringing sound that's what the kind of sound in like the background when it when you shoot it i don't know i'll keep this with me for now uh, it does not appear to be as good as my other weapons but i'll you know keep it with me for now uh, and i'm going to just go back to the meteorite really quick and go mine up all the stuff so we can actually see the item that i can make out of it I think it'll be power craft by now by the other items we have but i mean who knows right the boom box and the tuning fork and the robobo all come after when you're supposed to get the bone trumpet and this thing is still my strongest weapon by dps and aoe because of its piercing it's not really aoe but it can pierce a lot of enemies by like a still a good margin i think for pure damage this is still my strongest by a lot this is a nice little pet though and why do I also have a, a maid? What? What is happening? I didn't have this before, did I? What is going on? I don't know. Uh, all right then. Uh, sure. I have two pets, apparently. We'll go with that. And we're just gonna vein mine this and take whatever it gives us. You know, destroy the whole desert while we're at it because I'm just that kind of guy. Give me all of my meteorite, please. The sand is gonna like eat all my meteorite, bro. Come on. And we came away with almost 600 meteorite from that. So we'll be able to make that into like whatever the hell we would want to m make stuff with meteorite out of like later on in the game, I suppose. Cause you know, there are a couple of things I believe it makes into one of the like final materials in the game, like the, the core things, the terrarium cores or whatever the hell they're called. We have a meteorite oboe though. Is this what this is supposed to be also an oboe? They look similar. That's what I assume they're that's supposed to be. I should also just put this... I was thinking about putting this plant in, like, the, the 
this chest for some reason. I'm like, oh, I have to put that in the bar chest. Like, where is my, my mind today? And also, why do I have fucking tokens in my hotbar? Anyways. Oboe. Meteorite oboe. That's kind of intriguing. Um, what does it actually do? Releases a flaming earworm that infects hit enemies. An earworm. That's kind of gross. <laughs> the affected enemy will constantly release damaging astral clouds and empowers players with a bonus uh, grab range. At a 16 DPS. Man, that is underpowered. Holy moly, that is underpowered. This only has 10, to be fair, but... Yeah, um, I can't see this being all that useful. It's interesting, at least. Uh, and, you know, earworm infection is cool, I guess. And I think that's just gonna about do it, you know? This one may be a little shorter. It might just be, like, longer sections of me just talking and rambling nonsense. But uh, I've already been recording for 43 minutes, and I do not want to delve into the underworld and go for the Wall of Flesh right now. Because that's gonna take, like, another hour and a half, probably. Because that's, you know, I have to go down there, I have to make the bridge, unless I'm gonna do, like, the cheesy thing with grav potions, which I could do, but it's not really cheesy either, it's just a strategy to beat the Wall of Flesh with. But I, I tend to like having a hell bridge for other things as well, just to farm and do other things in the underworld, so I'll probably just do that, um, but next episode, which is gonna be, like, episode, what, 13? No, it's gonna be, like, 12, isn't it? I'm, like, on, like, episode 10. Episode 12, episode 13, something like that, and we're finally gonna be getting in hard mode, and then I'm probably gonna do another 40 episodes, because fucking hard mode. Um, yeah, so, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you did enjoy and I shall see you guys in the next video.